Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our channel PhysioMass Organization, myself Dr. Tapush Kumar Pal, Assistant Professor in Open Institute of Healthcare Studies and today we will be teaching you one important topic that is regarding the radiological findings of patella maltracking. All of us we know patella maltracking it is a very important condition mostly seen among the people those who are having a weakness of the VMO muscle. But sometimes this patellar maltracking it is to get misdiagnosed with patellofemoral osteoarthritis or tricompartmental waning. Although patellar maltracking as I told it is more common among the people those who are having the VMO weakness among the elderly people. But this patellar maltracking can lead to patellofemoral osteoarthritis or tibiofemoral osteoarthritis. As we know, the patellar position is very important and which is in between the intercondylar groove. But sometimes this patella can be maltracked just because of the weakness of the VMO. This can be seen with the radiological findings of which is done by the skyline view of the radiology. But sometimes with this basic AP view also, we can see the patellar position by which we can can comment that the patella is maltracked laterally. The most common condition where the patella can be maltracked laterally is just because of the VMO weakness or because of the IT band tightness. So before we understand this radiology, before we go in the depth of this particular radiological view, I will make you understand what exactly the anatomical landmarks is present over here. First I will show you, we can see over here the outline of the femoral condyle, we can see over here the outline of the tibial plateau, we can see over here the outline of the fibula and as this fibula is towards the lateral side, this is the lateral condyle or the lateral side and this is the medial side. And also here we can see the patellar shadow, we can see the patellar shadow also. This is the superior angle of the patella and this is the inferior angle of the patella. So, this is the basic common anatomical landmarks of this particular x-ray. Now, as per the anatomy, this patella, this patella, the shadow what you can see over here, this patella supposed to be in between the intercondylar groove. That means, this is the medial condyle of the femur this is the lateral condyle of the femur and this patella supposed to be exactly over here in between the intercondylar groove but in this x-ray we can see the patella it is maltracked or the patella it changed its position towards the lateral sides we can see the shadow over here where the shadow exactly shows the lateral shifting of the patella and this is the condition what we used to tell as a lateral patellar maltracking. So, with this basic x-ray also we can tell that the patella is maltracked for this particular person. There is a two chance either from this side the VMO can be weak or from this side the IT band can be tight that is the main two cause for the patella to go for a maltracking. So, uh, I think everyone if people understood what exactly the patellar maltracking is and with the basic x-ray how we can understand the lateral patellar maltracking. Uh, yeah, of course, skyline view is the best one to understand the patellar maltracking but, but with this view also we can understand the patellar maltracking. So, uh, this is about today's class and the next class will be coming with some other x-ray views also. Those who are watching this video don't forget to subscribe this channel those who not yet subscribed and don't forget to like this video also. Thank you everyone.